Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Eric and today we are watching episode 17 of season 2 of Supernatural. This show has really really grown on me with time. I was, I've was i been talking about this previously but like I really enjoy when uh, media goes out of its way to subvert my expectations. Like in movies or in games that can come as like uh, subverting genre tropes like a movie that is different from like not uh, itself but like it's different from what we know movie movies like that are supposed to be in the context of supernatural i love it because it's often not what i expected expect it to be because i've gotten to know the show over time and i've gotten to know like how Supernatural does things. You know, Supernatural has the formula uh, that it goes by. Like the episode opens with something happening to people somewhere in America. And then it's the, then it's the title screen. And then we go to the boys, usually, who discover the case. And like, uh, we get a briefing, a very short briefing, and they go there to wherever this thing's happening. They start investigating, uh, questioning people and just like trying to learn what's going on. Uh, the case escalates, something, the same thing happens to someone else or it gets worse somehow. And we get closer to an answer and then there's a confrontation and then it's resolved and we move on. And that's like, that's like how Supernatural does it. And they've been really good about establishing that, uh, those standards, that formula. And that makes it even more special when they deviate from that formula. Because like, I know how Supernatural works now, which is why it's so easy to see when it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Like in the previous episode, which is why I'm getting to this. Where we followed not the boys. We didn't see like the, the step, all the, these steps we kind of got stuck in the very first part. The boys still did all the other steps in between. In between, like, the first step of something happening to someone somewhere, and then resolution. The boys did all the things in between. We didn't get to see any of it. We just saw her, the, the woman, Molly, Molly, her, her perspective. We got, like, quick cuts at the end of the boys figuring things out when the big reveal happened, you know. But, like... That, and then combine that with other episodes, like the one with the trickster, and uh, like Croatoan, and the one with the Meg, the Meg demon in Sam, and like, there's a lot of episodes that don't conform to what Supernatural is supposed to be, and that makes Supernatural into something different, more than what it's supposed to be. And I really enjoy that, that's really nice and really fun. So... With that said, I think it's time to get back into this and see what happens next. As we get started, check the link in the description for my Patreon, uh, early access and unedited full episode reactions if that interests you. But with that said, let's dive in. Oh my word, that's a lot of grain. Film grain. Wait, what, did it say San Francisco? That's a very, that's a big city. And we usually aren't in big cities. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to... Uh... To what? <laughs> no one's buying it. <laughs> Could you just give me a look? I already called you Kev. Yeah. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, is she like his secretar secretary or something? Or assistant? <laughs> Executive a assistant. Only on the days that end with a Y. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, good one. You know him? You okay? Yeah. She looks like she saw a ghost. Which in this case might actually happen in this show. Hey, there's the guy. What's going on here? Oh. Oh, I see. Whoa. Ah! Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> that was a lot. Yikes. Dude is messed up. You know what, better? I haven't quite determined that just yet. Something really big. <laughs> was his heart missing? Yeah, how did you know that? I haven't even finished my report. Lucky guess. <laughs> yeah, he knows something he's not telling. <laughs> Over the past year, several women have gone missing. They were all hookers working Hunter's Point. Now cops are trying to keep things under wrap, but they're looking for a serial killer. And the lunar cycle? Mm -hmm. Oh, werewolf. I see. Awesome. <laughs> really? Can, could you be a bigger geek about this? This is my neighbor, Glenn. Glenn, this is Detective... Landis and Detective Dante. Well... I guess I'll leave you to it. I don't know those names. Okay. Thanks for the casting. Mission Church. Oh, how thoughtful. Oh. Just call if you need it. A good Christian, huh? He's sweet. He came over to check on me. Oh, maybe not that sweet. <laughs> maybe not that good Christian. Maybe he's just thirsty. You get a few scotches in him and he started hitting on anyone in a five mile radius. You know the type. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I do, actually. <laughs> oh, quality side eye, Sam. <laughs> well, he's kind of been stalking me. He oh. got it in his head that something was going on between Nate and I. Oh, was that the guy she saw? The guy who followed her? He scares me. Yeah, we, you, you could really tell she was really shaken up. <laughs> <laughs> and there he is. I like it. I like how spooky this is. The freezer. Maybe there's some human hearts behind the haagen or something. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's <laughs> kind of funny. Sam, come here. Oh, those are some major claw marks. Oh, a cop. How yeah, about that? Whatever happened, we never saw that FBI agent guy again. I thought he would feature more strongly. That's why... It's not great that they're in a big city. Like this. Oh, cop found something he shouldn't have. I'd say Kurt's looking more and more like our Cujo. Dude, yeah, indeed. Out here. We better check on Madison. But that seems too obvious. What's going on? Police business, Glenn. Maybe it's the neighbor who's possessive and protective. He was outside last night, just looking, just looking at me. I like how straightforward she is, or like how she just tells them. That's, that's refreshing. No, screw that. We settled this the old fashioned way. Rock, paper, scissors? Nice. Dean, always with the scissors. Bundle up out there, all right? <laughs> scissors again. Yeah. Always with the scissors on. Huh? Although I do appreciate his thought there. That like, no way is he going to expect me to go scissors again after pointing it out. But Sam was too smart. <laughs> Awkward, huh? Dean is better with the women. You know, I think I will sit on that. <laughs> yeah, why did you have to do that there? <laughs> yeah, she likes messing with him. Oh, you're too easy, guess. Sam. Sitting on her couch like a stiff trying to think of something to say. Did you find Kurt? <laughs> <laughs> you know your brother well. I never get to watch my show. So suck it up. Wait, so, so Kindle married Ethan's <laughs> father just to get back at him? <laughs> oh, you got into it, huh, Sam? Doesn't everybody think that being a victim of random violence is the best thing that ever happened to them? <laughs> yeah, not so much. Eh, could be. It's a powerful trigger for change. Hey. I found him. Go, don't take your eyes off him. Oh. He... <laughs> oh, yeah, my eyes are glued. Yeah. Oh, Sammy, I gotta let you go. I, uh, <clears throat> I don't wanna, I don't wanna miss anything. <laughs> Oh, Dean. Uh, Dean to the rescue. 
Oh, it's her. So. Okay. I was thinking that maybe Kurt, yeah, Kurt was the werewolf and, and maybe he infected her, but that seems unlikely. The werewolf knocked me out. Sam, it's Madison. What? But it makes no sense that she would kill him then. Um, where are my pajamas? She has no idea what's going on, huh? I'm not going anywhere. And neither are you. Oh no, this is gonna be rough. Because she has no idea. Monsters don't exist. Not really. You know what? Save the act. It's I don't, not an no. act. Yeah, I don't think she's acting. Please don't do something that you're gonna regret. I'm not what you think I am. I'm not. Yeah, I don't I don't see her lying about this. I don't think so. But then again, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. I like to believe people, which has not served me well in my playthrough of The Witcher. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe when the creature takes over, she blacks out like a really hot incredible hulk. <laughs> I'm not putting a bullet through some girl's chest who has no idea what's happening. Sam, she's a monster and you're feeling sorry for her? Maybe I understand her. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Lycanthropy might have a cure if you kill the werewolf who bit you, severing the bloodline. Might. Grab me from behind. Did he bite you? <laughs> How did you know that? How did you know that? <laughs> oh, that's exactly the line. Let me guess. Not too far from Hunter's Point. Yeah, where all the prostitutes have gone missing. Same. I'll do it. Same. I'll shoot her, alright? But You're the wrong person to stay, Sam. They're emotionally connected. Right. Like your judgments impaired. I know you're scared. How long has it been since you slept, Sam? No way in hell you gonna believe me. Like, did you get any sleep? I think you're, he's going on like 30 hours or something. If this goes the way I pray it does, and I'll walk out that door, and I'll never come back, and I'll just be a bad memory. Yeah. We can hope, you know. <laughs> yes, very obviously a working girl. <laughs> Let's hit most of the cliches. <laughs> I like that. It makes it easier, easier for the viewer. You don't need to second guess. You just know. Yeah. Yeah, they <laughs> they needed to tie her down better. <laughs> Dean, where are you at? Hey! Yeah, it was the neighbor. I recognized that shirt. Hey, don't mention it. <laughs> yeah, don't say thanks or anything. He doesn't know either? So werewolves are not in control whatsoever, apparently. <laughs> yeah, look at the door. <laughs> it should be over now. You'll never see me again. So it worked. How do you know it worked? No, but how do you know that it actually worked? You know, for a stakeout, your car's a bit conspicuous. <laughs> yeah, that is true. We're pretty sure you're not going to turn tonight, but we got to be 100%, so, you know, oh. we're lurking. Okay. They thought of it. Well, if we're going to wait it out, we might as well do it together. Apparently she got, she got over it. You were telling the truth, weren't you? Yeah, they were. Turn middle of the night last night. I think we gotta hang in until sun up. Okay. Poker anyone? <laughs> oh, Dean. You can always rely on him trying to lighten the mood. <laughs> does, does this mean it worked? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's good. You too, Dean. 
Thank you. Ah, don't mention it. He finally got a thanks this episode. <laughs> Head back to the hotel and watch some pay-per-view or something. <laughs> yeah. Give those two crazy kids a moment alone. That's smooth. <laughs> he means well. Yes, he does. Oh, this is way overdue, Sam. There goes hides in my mind. <laughs> Maybe she'll scratch you up some more now. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh my, physique. <laughs> She's still biting. <laughs> Wait. Oh no, there's too much episode left. <laughs> oh no. I just looked over and saw the timer on the recording. It's like, oh no, there's too much episode left. <laughs> Except he knew severing the bloodline wouldn't work. That's everyone. They all say it's impossible to reverse it. Sammy, I don't think we got a choice here anymore. What? Sam? Madison, where are you? I don't, I don't, I don't know where I am. That's unfortunate. I probably killed someone last night. Didn't I? It's very likely, yeah. Madison, you deserve to know. We've scoured every source. There's just no cure. Is he right? Probably. Sam just doesn't want to accept it. Could lock you up at night, but you bust out. And some night you will. Someone else dies. I'm sorry, I am. She has a really rough time of the month. I'm gonna save you. It's... I tried. I know you tried. This is all there is left. Let Dean do it. I want it to be you. I can't. I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't. Why do you want it to be Sam? It's not fair. It's not nice to him. This is the way you can save me. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's one way to look at it, but still. I'm asking you to save me. I guess it kind of is poetic. Hush now, don't you cry. Appropriate music. I'm sorry. No, you're right. <laughs> She's right. Yeah, I mean, you kind of gotta kind of got to respect her wishes. It's been so long since I listened to Queen's Reich. Currently I'm just listening to Ulcerate. Oh, that's nice. That ending was amazing. Just suddenly music just cuts out with the sound of a gun. And the episode is over. <sighs> that was a really nice ending for the episode. This was a fun episode. This was kind of... Kind of more conventional, Supernatural. Like, I do enjoy the fact that this was different uh, than usual. In the fact that the boys knew what they were looking for, like, straight away. Like, the first time we saw them together... Like, the episode opened with the event, and then at the morgue, um, Sam was at the morgue, and then we cut to, like, a, I guess, motel. They are motel, they are always in motels. Uh, where, like, it was clear that they knew what they were hunting. And the mystery came in the form of who. I like, as well, the misdirect, uh, that they let us believe that things would have a happy ending. But then... It very much was not. <laughs> I also really like the fact that Sam got some physical closeness. Because everyone needs that once in a while. And of course, there are the parallels to Sam. How Sam is supposed to become something that needs to be saved or stopped by Dean. Just that fact that Sam needs to be saved or stopped, like killed by Dean, means that Sam has something evil inside him. 
that's like the the implication of that of course so he sees himself in in madison like that he is a part evil but not uh, he's not in control of it i don't know i don't know what that means for the coming episodes like this episode does kind of raise some interesting questions you know about how if you are unaware of what you're doing if you're doing it unconsciously like sleepwalking or is it still you is it still are you still held responsible for what you do you kind of should but at the same time it's not really fair because it's not it's like holding sam responsible for the things that meg did uh, while inside his body like at the same time it was sam who did it and it was madison who did these things just not consciously there was no intent behind it like it was not a choice they made i guess it's like when you find out what you are doing unconsciously like sleep if sleepwalking or whatever when you find out what's going on uh, then you need to make a choice and Madis madison did she made the choice that she didn't want to be indirectly responsible anymore for hurting people so yeah it was this was a nice episode it wasn't very fun but it was nice like now i have a different bar for what constitutes fun now after the trickster <laughs> because that was one of the funniest things i've ever seen so yeah this was a good episode it was good like but at the same time not on the level of uh, tall tales like that might be my favorite episode currently and i will return to that episode uh tall tales that is with the trickster because it was just too funny see i don't know because i do want more episodes like tall tales uh, but at the same time if you get them too frequently it might make it less special when it does happen i don't know i don't have the answer all I know is that I enjoyed this, and I'm looking forward to the next episode. But for today, I'm done. So I thank you very much for joining me, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Until then, peace out.